hello welcome to clear technologies uh, so in this video we will see uh, how we can create a flow uh, by using a file connector and in that file connector uh, we are going to see this operation on new or updated file what it will do is like uh, whenever if you have a file whenever um, if you have a new file created here in this particular folder or whenever any existing file is getting updated in this particular folder this flow will trigger okay and it will do all the actions whichever you have um, performed here and what are the remaining connectors if you have added as per your requirement okay uh, that process will go like that so this on new uh, connector or uh, on new file connector or updater file connector both are same okay this file this connector actually to used as a scheduler as well like uh, it will trigger the flow you can use this connector in the source it will trigger the flow whenever any new file is getting added here in this particular path and whenever any existing file is getting modified in this particular path so to demonstrate this uh, i have created a f folder called um, sorry let me maximize this I have created a folder called on new file test which is on my desktop okay here uh, this folder is empty as of now so I have not created any files and uh, you need to just drag and drop this on new connector into the palette just give me one minute yeah you need to just I will just remove the earlier one. I will show you from scratch. So okay. So I just drag and drop the on new and updated file and I'll just add one logger here to display the payload. Okay. So let's configure this on new or updated file first. Just click on that. Okay, in that um, configuration i just maximized it okay in that in the connector configuration you will not find uh, much details just click on it and uh, just click ok that's it only the thing which you are going to use uh, is like all the um, connections like all the settings available here in this general section and post processing action these two sections you are going to concentrate here I'll just click on OK. It is not getting disappearing. Let's once this once this pop-up is getting closed, I'll show you uh, different options. Yeah. So this is the general section. Here we have different options like directory, matcher, watermark mode, time zone, scheduling strategy, and um, post processing action. Like once the file is getting processed, after that, what the action it should take? Like that. It has couple of options. So we'll discuss all these things uh, one by one. Uh, before that in order to make this file is getting executed you need to um, fill the path okay this is the directory path where you need to uh, provide the directory path so as i said earlier i have created this um, path here so i'll just copy this path i mean i have created one folder on my desktop which is named it as on new file test so i just copy that path and paste it here and the matcher for now you can just leave it as this yeah so uh, you can uh, leave it as it is the matcher is none and let's discuss this watermark later for now by default it is uh, disabled okay so this is the one we need to concentrate first scheduling strategy fixed process uh, i mean at by default it is fixed frequency it means like uh, after which time you if your file is i mean your flow is going to be triggered like uh, let's if i say like five seconds say frequency is 5 and time unit is seconds every 5 seconds my flow is getting triggered and it will check for new files available in this particular folder as of now we didn't mention it is new file or updated file uh, but as this watermark mode is default I mean disabled by default it will treat everything as a new file okay if you update any file it will not consider as of now with this configuration so uh, we have used uh, disabled as it is and we have uh, set this frequency like 5 seconds so each for every 5 seconds your flow will trigger and it will uh, check for the new file available for this particular folder and it will process the file okay just leave it as it is as of now just click on save so in the logger uh, you will see uh, just add a payload like whatever be there in that uh, file it will 
print you in logger okay now yeah that's it for now but uh, before that let's add one file here before the file is get um, the flow is getting updated i mean deployed i'll just create one text file and uh, test file i can name it as uh, new connector testing i'll save it as this okay so now once your flow is getting triggered you need to um, get this file data is getting displayed and once the flow is running then we will create couple of more files and we will see how it will behave so i will deploy this application in my nipan studio so right click on that and click as run as mule application it will take couple of minutes to get it deployed uh, let it be let's wait and i'll uh, pass this video once it is getting deployed no 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 um, because uh, yeah once it is get a deployed uh, immediately the flow will trigger and it will uh, pull the data so i don't want to pass sorry for that let uh, let's see let's see let's wait So it is initializing the app uh, let's wait and let me clear the console yeah so it is deployed right so just observe whenever the file application is deployed immediately it uh, uh, read the file and it is uh, showing the content of the file new connector testing new connector testing this is the content which we have added in the text file this text file contains the same data so immediately whenever the uh, application is deployed we didn't run this flow uh, just observe carefully we didn't run this flow or we didn't test this flow we just deployed this application so for every 5 seconds it will you know, pull that particular uh, see here the time uh, if you can observe uh, 5204 5209 uh, 5304 5309 and 5324 5329 like if you can see the time difference is just 5 seconds because we have configured the file connector in that way like for each every uh, 5 seconds it will uh, go to that particular folder and it will see is there any new file is available and it will pull the data as of now if you if you observe carefully it is uh, keep on pulling the same file because we have only one file here it will take the one file and it will pull that file itself multiple times and it will treat that file as a new file every time and it is printing the data inside that file okay let's create one more file let's see the application is running in the background just observe i didn't stop that application now let's create a new file content and save it let's see the console see now it is pulling uh, first file and second file as well for each and every five seconds it will pull two files and it will display two files data here but why it is going into a infinite loop because uh, here uh, if you can see once the file is getting processed again the same file is available here it means like 
whenever any new file any file is coming uh, here and visible here for this particular folder and any file is available here your MuleSoft connector will treat that file as a new file and it will process it automatically so how we can control this so let it be uh, just come here how we can control this that is called post actions post processing action so by default auto delete is false what is post processing action means once the file is re getting read uh, read from that particular location it means like after the file is getting read from that lo location uh, what we have to do like you want to delete the file once the file is successfully processed or you want to move that file to some other directory or you want to rename that file those are all the three options available here so for, uh, what i meant was see once this file is read here i mean the file is successfully accessed here the content of that particular file is uh, displaying here in the log so this is process is done your flow is executing successfully it is done so after this done i mean after the flow is executed successfully and after the file is getting read successfully after that what you want to do so here three options will be available as a post processing action after the processing post action what it will do the first option will be uh, false by default like auto delete so if you want to delete the file from this folder from this root folder where the file is getting read okay you want to delete the file once the flow is successfully executed that is this option second option move to directory if you want to move this file to another path once the file is getting processed if you want to remove the file from here and move it uh, move to another directory that is the one second option and third option is rename so once the file is getting uh, read successfully and it is processed successfully if you want to rename the file uh, because so that it, it won't get that file again it won't read that file again okay these are all the three different options you can use i'll uh, say like for example i'll move to another directory so in the uh, desktop itself i'll create one more folder like processed files i'll name it as processed files so once the file is uh, read successfully i would like to move the successful files to this location so I'll copy this location. I'll click here and in the new move to directory, just paste that location. Okay. Click on save. It will deploy automatically and it will run. Let's maximize the console and let's see. So the pulling of file is stopped here because the application is going to be uh, uh, redeployed. now it is started yeah so initializing the app yeah starting the app. so application is redeployed successfully just observe carefully uh, here once the application is deployed it read the file and if you wait 5 seconds or 10 seconds or 10 hours it won't pull that file again because the file is getting moved to another directory see this is the pro processed files folder here now these two files are available here what about my root folder here there is no files because once the file is getting read from this location it moved the two files it has moved the two files to this processed file location so that's why you you will see only one time entry here in your log it means it, it read those two files only one time so once the file is getting read it, it moved to that particular file into process to files so let's create one more new file i can say it is a third file see immediately it got read and the file does not contain any data uh, so that's why in logger you you will see you will not see any data and you if you can observe the another folder where we moved that you will find that file over there third third file or test file okay i didn't rename it e meanwhile it we pulled it okay i'll do one thing i'll just rename it you can say third file 
third file input and I can give some data here this is the third file I'll save it okay, I'll manually uh, copy this file to that uh, input location this one let's see once I paste the file it will read the file and then uh -huh, okay while um, okay so yeah I got this uh, issue like I have I didn't cut the file so I'll just remove the file here and I'll paste it here yeah now see this is getting pulled this is the third file the data is pulled from the root folder like this on new file and it should be getting removed here once I refreshed it then if I go to this uh, output folder like the mode directory uh, the file is available here third file input clear so I hope you understand the uh, functionality of this on new file and on new uh, on updated file as of now we have seen new file uh, configuration only like whenever new file is getting added how it will behave like how it will schedule in our uh, second part of the video we will see how we can differentiate the files uh, from this particular folder which are new files and which are uh, updated files by using this watermark mode we will see this functionality in our second part of video okay thank you and please subscribe and share uh, uh, like our videos and subscribe to our channel uh, to latest updates and uh, new videos thank you